Hello Aries, it is me, K Star. This message is going to be for you. And this reading is all about why there's no contact, okay? No contact. No, and this is to whomever, a lover, family member, so-called friend, jobs, whatever I see, I'm going to read it here why, as to why you're not getting no contact, okay? Oh, um, like I said, it's going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Um, and also, too, you got, oh, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you who have been here through the beginning, I really do um, appreciate you sticking here with me. And for those of you who are new, um, this resonates with you. Please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification and comment and like and share so that every time I post you, I notify when you hit the notification button. And I'm going to tell y'all something, honey. I mean, the enemy is really working hard because I have been trying to upload videos time and time and time, and they just sit there, and YouTube is well aware of it, and other YouTubers, I guess, are having these type of issues. I don't know what is going on, but it's starting to be ridiculous, so don't think for a second that I'm not sitting here trying to put out readings for y'all. I do, okay, and I have a bunch of them, um, like I was going to say, too, so last week... Um, I did say tell y'all this is going to be about no contact, right? The sun will rise and in Venus. Why there's no contact? So Friday, make sure you guys are here on Friday at um, 6 p.m. Um, hold on. Make sure. On the full card. Okay. Yeah, make sure you guys are here on Friday at 6 p.m. Um, because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have a live. Okay, so bring your drinks. I want to get to know everybody who follow me. Start getting more personalized with you guys. I'm going to also have giveaways. Last week, Angel Baby, which is a Leo from Canada. She won this um, New Beginning candle. Angel Baby, if you are cross-watching and watching this, I don't know what happened. But she didn't send me her. You guys have to send me your addresses and everything in order for me to send you the gifts. If she sent send it, I haven't seen it, okay? And I've been checking. Um, yeah, um, she ordered, she ordered, she won this giveaway, and she also got a free reading, which helped her out a lot. It's a new beginning on candles, so this is very good for manifestation. And also, too, I have the candles for the Zodiac. So if you have Aries on your chart, um, this will be good for you too as well. So I'm going to also, what is today? Wednesday. So Thursday, I'm going to be posting more candles that I have um, to also give away too, especially dealing with the Zodiac. Okay. I also have um, spiritual oils. I have protection oils, um, customer oils, um, pay me oils. You know, the customer oil is so, so that if you have a thrive, if you have a business that you're trying to get started, th that oil will be essential for you. Um, pay me, somebody owe you money. I have King Solomon oil, good for abundance. Um, gold and silver oil. I have basil oil. I got something else too. Um, I'm trying to think. So I also have money trees. Okay, little little figurines for money trees. All these things are good for manifestations and getting yourself things started, okay? I think there's a super moon next week, Saturday. Forget which moon it is, but I'm, not, I'm almost sure it's a super moon next week, Saturday, okay? So it'll be good, you know, for you to try to get one of these candles in before then. So you can, you know, use the super moon energy, okay? So... What I was saying before, this reading is about why there's no contact with um, a person or whomever. Um, <laughs> this person who you all were dealing with um, has that playboy type of energy. Third party situation. This person is not contacting you. Look, you don't want to take a chance on this. Okay, so let's start from the top. You got the full card here in reverse. The full card here upright is someone who just like, you know, I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to go out. You don't want to take a chance with this person. This person has erratic behavior, risky hate behavior. Okay. In all means necessary. Okay. And here it is, the moon card here in reverse. So some secrets came out about a person that's possibly more than likely scared the shit out of you. And now you got yourself blocked. 
okay you can't see any type of way you don't even want to your, your decision is you're just going to block yourself from this individual and look you already here with the three of wands already planning out seeking your sights waiting for messages to come in waiting for the ships coming and this person is more than likely possibly waiting for you to even contact them but however whatever, whatever it may be aries this is you also showing up you are already planning and plotting to move forward in life Okay, but I'm getting a sense like this person is possibly waiting for you to reach out to them. And I don't feel like you're going to have any communication with this individual at all. Okay, I'm getting with this two of swords is like, damn, you know, I'm this, this, this is all too familiar territory. Because she's sitting there so calmly on this stool, she's sitting there. It's like she's done this before. He or she has done this before. Okay, you are aware of this type of behavior that this individual has with, with this fool card here in reverse. Okay, and the fear, you know, the, the, the moon card could basically be about fear too as well. I don't think it's so much of you being fear, but this person is more than likely just afraid of the fact that you found out about some shit and you move forward. Um... Yeah, because I feel like this person here with this nine of wands here, this person has a playboy, playgirl type of energy in and out with risky type of behavior, you know, hop to pillar to post, okay? And this could be basically you too just saying, listen, I'm not going to give you no type of action, you know, with this third party situations that you are having, you're no longer a part of this anymore. But with the three of cups there here in reverse, this can also mean that this person um, basically really have broken your heart. Like some of you could be falling into a depression or basically isolated yourself from this situation or you just isolated yourself i mean isolated yourself from friends and you're not going out or you just isolated yourself from this situation with this individual but you just don't want to work on that person anymore you're not trying to plant any more seeds and i'm getting here too that you're telling this individual you're not going to come here and plant these seeds of lies or plant these seeds of deception to me anymore I mean, do you realize the only card that you have here on this spread upright is the Two of Swords and the Three of Wands, which tells me you made a decision, Aries, to just move on. I feel like this person smoke a lot. Smoke a lot, drink a lot. They just do a lot of overindulgence, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um... Yeah, you're no longer trying to work on this situation. Let me see. And you're blocked. So I, I feel like you possibly have blocked all communication with this person with this two of swords here. Okay. Let me see. What is this fool? Oh. But this is why there's no contact. So really, it's like... I feel like this contact, Aries, is because you have just decided that this does not serve. That this is just not good for you. Because this, this person's actions is too... Um, it's too familiar with their playboy, playgirl type of energy. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify the full card here in reverse. Some of you could be also, um, dang, it don't even want me. My God, this energy. Some of you could also be moving. I feel out of your out of your state, out of your city, but you're planning. It's time to. Put things behind you and move forward. Okay. So let me see. There's no contact with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus, Holy Spirit. In reverse, the full card. Please clarify. Mm, the King of Wands here. Yeah. So you, you showed up here, Aries, the King of Wands here. Mm. You could be dealing with another fire sign. I'm getting here with this king of wands here. It's like this person is all kings of kings, like sexual behaviors, like just messing around a lot. Like the things that they do, their actions could be deadly or detrimental to you. This is why, you know, like I said, this is why the full card, the, the tone was, the bottom of the deck is that this person, the energy, like risky behaviors, like just not thinking things through. So I feel like this is their energy, that this is the, that they are the king of disaster. <laughs> and I feel like you notice this and this is why you realize this. 
Um, let me see. What's this moon card here? With her? This person, oh Lord, this person could possibly right now be suffering from an STD. Okay, fire, piss and fire. No contact. They, they piss and fire right now. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, so it's good that you have yourself blocked from this person. What is this moon card here in reverse? The king of swords here, okay, because they're not loyal to anyone. And you are aware of that. This is why I said I feel like this is because I'm getting a sense that if you if, if you allow this person, because you know, let, let let's just be honest. The Knight of Wands is that Playboy Playgirl energy. The person that come in with full of fire, but with not energy and everything. But it's in reverse. So I feel like you just just you're just not entertaining this anymore because of this person's risky behavior. Let the truth be told. If you if you open up the door to them, if you didn't have this block. And was like, uh, 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 I'm, I'm barking my space. They would just be coming in and out of you. But I'm telling you, somebody pissing fire right now. Somebody, PP of, of the JJ is on fire. Oh, uh, what is this two of swords here? What is this two of swords here? The justice card. Yep, the justice card. Some of you could be taking this poor person to court, coming out with the big, you know, child support. Or whatever, but but also to the justice card also too means that justice is gonna be on your side. This is why you have the three of wands here. If you just keep everything and keep looking forward and not looking back into the situation, it's gonna work for you. Okay, but you could be dealing with an air sign. What is this? Um, the three of wands here. Okay, what is this three of wands here? And I'm getting a sense too that you're just saying all that shit that you did behind my back. I'm not planting no more seeds with you. You did all this shit behind my back. Okay, all this erratic behavior behind my back. I'm not dealing with you anymore. What is this three of wands here? This is three of wands here. The two of wands here. Okay. So you already three of ones or two of ones here. Okay. Spirit wants me to tell you if you look back, it will set you back from your three light. It's like as if they're communicating with this person. Okay, so it's like communicating with this person. If you look back, because look, it's like you went from three to two. Okay, so if now now you're looking like what the fuck? Like I'm still attached. I'm going up, uh, going up this slippery slope. Like it's cold. I'm not too sure. Okay, so the three of wands is if you notice the three of wands, this person is not attached. They're not attached. This is sort of like you looking back. If you do decide to look back, this is where you will be. You will take a step back. Okay, but I feel like some of you are not going to do that because the Knight of Wands is here in reverse. So hopefully you don't do that. You need to clearly see this, that looking back, it's going to put you in a cold situation. It's like you went from, 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 from fire to cold. No, no. And what's going to happen is also too, by me saying a cold situation, it's like um, that person going to ghost you again. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're going to be doing the reverse. That's like that's like their plan to try to communicate with you. Let me see. Holy Spirit, what is this lot of wands here in reverse? And I feel like with this justice card here, like if you rebuild it to this person, like you're going to come out there like they. It's like when I look at this card, it's like them saying like, damn, you know, I, I just surrender to you. You know, like like they're going to try to say to you, you know, I'm not going to pull out no more big up I, because you're so in tune with what's going on. OK, the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse for my Aries? There's no contact. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse, Holy Spirit?
And look, now you got the three of wands here in reverse. Okay. The nine of wands here in reverse is because you know if you entertain that, you won't be able to move forward. Hint, hint, the two of wands here clarifying this one. Okay. And that two of wands could possibly be saying too that this person is trying to come back. Trying to tap you on your shoulder. Okay, trying to get your attention, but you know that you're not gonna do that because with this three with this nine of wands here, you know their energy already, they're in and out stuff, and you put an end to it. Okay, so there's like no growth there, which is a good thing. Holy Spirit, what is this three of cups here? In reverse. What is this three of cups in reverse? The Ace of Cups here, okay? So guess what? You removing yourself with this from this situation, no longer being a part of a third-party situation, or it could have been you, Aries. You could have been a part of a third-party situation, but by you releasing yourself from this, here you have the Ace of Cups here. Once you was crying once before about it, and this is a good thing because you went from the Three of Cups here, okay? So you possibly was like really depressed about everything that went on or some shit that you find out about. That this person was not loyal or whatever. Uh, but now you have the Ace of Cups here, New Beginning. Okay, and this is all because you are moving forward and you made a decision to block yourself from this person. This is why the justice, the scales are balancing out for you. This person can't do nothing but surrender. Okay, let King Dingaling or, or, or Queen Vagina go out there and slay everybody else. But you're not trying to plant any seed, any more seeds into this. It is just freaking, freaking hopeless. That's what you're saying. That's what Spirit is saying. What is the Seven of Pentacles here? In reverse. The Seven of Pentacles here in reverse, Holy Spirit. The Hermit card in a reflection. I just heard in my head, it's like you could have been dealing with a Virgo. Like with the Seven of Pentacles here reverse. It's sort of like, what you want? Baby, I got it. You, you know, I, I mean, but you're saying like, you got to respect me. Like you can't just come here around and think you're going to be just doing all this type of, you know, erratic, risky behaviors and come back to me. I got to stay, keep myself blocked. I got to keep myself protected because this person is not loyal. They're not loyal to anyone. Okay. Y'all could have been having like a lot of arguments, a lot of blowouts. You could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer another fire sign but this person that's like damn you left me out in the cold or this is a sense where this individual left you out in the cold and now you went forward to um to the three of wands here but i i get the sense though that you're the one who cut off the contact with the individual here okay there's no growth here there's no three of wands here from nine of wands to the three of wands here in reverse there's none of that let me see how does Aries persons feel about this situation? There's three cards here, Holy Spirit. And I split the deck. I see I'm so confused. I don't think they too confused. And three cards. What this person want to say to Aries? With this no contact. What this person want to say? <laughs> when I split the deck, it says... Um, separation is killing me. That's what it said. <laughs> oh my God. I bet. Oh, in another, it's, it's in, a, uh, in a karmic situation. Let me shuffle the deck again. Oh, shit. And then I seen sexually needing you, heartbroken. Yeah, right. Give me two more. I see I want you. Well, you should have kept Aries when you had him or her. Yep, heartbroken came out again. How the hell? Well, it could be y'all Aries too heartbroken too with this three of cups here in reverse. But then you got the ace of cups that, that clarifies it. So you're going to be healing from this. Okay, give me one more card here. Drop the fucking ego. Okay? Yeah. 
That's what this King of Wands here. Okay? With your person. Drop the fucking ego. That's the King of Wands here. All that erratic behavior sleeping all around. It's like this person have to do that type of abusive stuff to themselves and make them feel like they're really insecure. They're really not as secure as you think they are. Okay? That's why they're doing all of this. But it's a good thing that you had some type of inner reflection with all this. You got the Hermit card here. And you looked at it all and you realized, what is the point of me even me even on dealing with this person? This message is of love. What do you want to tell, Aries Spirit? Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. And I feel like it's more than likely you, Aries. Okay, because you know that you deserve better. That's why you have yourself blocked. You know, you're just going to plan and move forward. Okay, and some of y'all going to be, like I said, going to be basically moving out to another city. On the minute that I split the dead, I see an addiction. Okay, and that's why I'm saying this is this ego thing. This is why this person spread themselves around or sexually around. Um, block, like, like you're not even going to let this person know that you are moving. Or that you're changing jobs or whatever. I don't know what this is. This friendship is leading to more. So you may have someone around you who are who's consoling you and helping you. Okay. The spirit wants you to know that this per that this person may um look what popped out. This person, this friend, this so-called friend, can more than likely be the person that you move on with. And look what I got here. You can expect the apology that you want to hear. That's what this person is going to say. Let's see what the angel romance is saying to what other messages in love for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But there's no contact. But what other S is in love? So basically what I'm picking up here that this person, you had your awakening moment. This, this person who you think is a friend is more than likely going to lead to more than just a friend maybe and you're going to possibly receive you want to possibly receive an apology from this person maybe at some point okay so let's see what else do aries need to know about love oh well it's saying something about finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now okay so maybe this person was not, they were so busy with their sexual addictions and spending money on strippers and all this other type of crap that it could have hindered you um, as to why you were not, why money wasn't coming in in the house too as well. Like everything that you plant, the money is gone, okay? And you're not, and look, you, you, you just took it a whole, you just look at the whole big picture, okay? Here it says, stay optimistic about your love life. That's what spirit wants you to know. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, once you clear this past with this person. Not with this individual though, okay? And this is what I'm saying, like with this friendship, you got to realize that the person that you with, everybody is not like that. This is just what this person is. And, and spirit want me to tell you, give yourself time through this transition. If you are with somebody, if you are dealing with a friend, there's a friend that you're finding yourself an attraction to this person during this this time um take your j just give yourself time to space so you can see clearly don't pick up something right away okay give me one more card here call it in your soulmate your prayers affirmation and vis visualization help bring you together this is what i want y'all to do and this 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 helps a lot during all of this time you i know you're going to be angry and i'm speaking from this from experience but never say what you would never find and what you're looking for in a person because if you say that if you say that you are not going to find that you're going to attract just the negative of what you speak okay don't pull back on love and say you don't want to be with nobody else or you don't want to be a wife. You, don't say that. Don't let a situation like this control you in finding calling in your soulmate. Okay? Don't let... Because what happens is a lot of times, especially women, we get into such a bad relationship and we let that person 
signify what a relationship is. And really and truly, this person going on about their business now with this risky damn behavior. You think for one minute that they're thinking about what they did to you and that's going to stop them from settling down with somebody? No. So basically what I'm trying to say is don't let a situation control you. You move forward. Okay? That happens. Sit back with this hermit car here. Sit back and, and just, just be honest with yourself as to how you got into this. What made you pick up this person? What red flags did you not look for? You didn't, I mean, that you seen and you didn't pay attention to it. And that's another thing. We think we could be a captain save a bitch. You can't be a captain save a bitch. A person has to want to save themselves. Or they want to have to love yourself enough to want to change. But while they're making that transition, they're not supposed to be out there putting you through all of this. Because this is not love. You need to know what love is. This is not love. Love is nobody who do risky behaviors and bring that shit back to you. Okay, stuff done behind your back with the moon card. This is why the goddamn secrets came out. Because you find out that this so-called king, the person who you thought was so loyal, was it? And the secrets came out. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times we have to take a mental note and a spiritual note. This is the awakening as to how we got into this. What was it? Why did I not pay attention to the flags that was there? And then you move on. And this is why calling your soulmate. You need to be here on Friday at 6 so you can get your candles and you can call all that stuff in and manifest it for the giveaways. Okay? Alrighty, so Aries, I am K Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below. And remember, every ending is a beautiful beginning. And I will see you next time.